Hello portals. Wait a second, portals are not my subject, I am not science file, I am just his rip off. That means, now I have to rip something off. Let's see, what has he posted? <laughs> That's it. Today we will talk about chicken nuggets, more precisely, about the history of chickens, and how our civilization developed and evolved with them. Although now cat videos put chicken memes to shame when it comes to internet popularity, it was not always like that. You all know that ancient Egyptians worshipped cats. But, what if I told you, in the past, chickens were revered not only by Egyptians, but by Zoroastrians, Romans, and Greeks. So, how did chickens change the development of human civilization? What kind of effect did they have on ancient societies? Well, to learn that, we first have to discuss a little about the history of chickens, and how they evolved. In the past, chickens played much more important roles in the human society than modern chickens. However, those chickens were not so fat like this one. Modern chickens look like this due to selective breeding, fattening diets and hormone injections. Their ancestor, which still lives, is the red jungle fowl. This bird is native to Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, and Southeast Asia. This region had large areas covered in bamboo plants. These bamboo forests were prime habitats for jungle fowls. Have you ever heard of bamboo rice? I guess not. That's because bamboo plants blossom once every 50 to 130 years. And by average, as bamboo plants live only between 40 to 80 years, this is a rare occurrence. But when this happens, it produces a massive amount of food for the jungle fowls. To take advantage of this phenomenon, they have evolved to get the ability to lay eggs daily when food is abundant. And the genes which activate this process must have been dominant in chicks born during these baby booms. Humans who went to harvest bamboo rice saw that there are so many eggs and flightless chicks lying around. That's when it all started. People took these chicks home and they grew into egg-laying birds. The baby boom jungle fowls were interbred in captivity causing them to lose their wild traits, and became more and more like modern chickens as time passed. This happened somewhere around 50th century BC. But during that period, our ancestors gave chickens a better social status according to the norms of that era, than chickens of our day. They were somewhat like gladiators, and were domesticated only for arena fights. Yeah yeah, I know, cockfighting is illegal now and considered inhumane. But we anyway keep them imprisoned for food now, and in the past, that was considered more inhuman than making them fight each other. History changes ethics people, get over it. Back to the topic, the domestication of chickens started spreading from the Indus Valley east to China and towards west passing Middle East. They became parts of religious rituals and took position as royal pets. Egyptian hieroglyphics in the period of King Thutmose III mentions of a magical bird from far lands, who gives birth every morning. Chicken eggs were used as offerings in religious rituals. Apart from that, eggs were a delicacy for the royalty, until, Egyptians found a way to artificially incubate chicken eggs with hot ash. Hens usually sit on their eggs to incubate them until the chicks hatch out and during the incubation, they don't lay more eggs. But when people started doing the incubation for them, chickens were free to keep laying eggs in such a quantity that everyone in Egypt could have enough eggs to eat. From Egypt to Indus Valley to China, chickens allowed people to worry less about their breakfast. Each morning people can wake up to eat eggs and start the day. At that time, chickens were mostly free-range, running after bugs and digging worms, and not grain-fed which meant that people had something to eat even if their grain harvests were not so good. People could have more free time, to work on improving their tools, creating new technology, painting and writing literature. Also the droppings of domestic chickens were used as fertilizer, boosting the growth of vegetable gardens, allowing people to have a more varied and nutritious diet than sticking into the normal diet of bread, milk and meat which in turn, has helped modern humans to become what they are today, up to a very considerable extent. Now, let's look at Europe. 
Somewhere in 1st millennia BCE, Phoenician merchants brought chickens to present daily. From there, chickens spread all over Europe and became a common farm animal. However, this did not cause a decline in the special status received by chickens as religious idols. Roman soldiers took chickens with them on long journeys, as they believed chickens are oracles who could foretell the success of future battles. In Greece, fighting roosters were a source of inspiration for young soldiers. Looking far east, roosters were kept as sacred birds in Japan because they announced the beginning and the end of the day. Excavations confirmed that somewhere around 300 BC, chicken was incorporated into Japanese cuisine. Some chicken breeds are now designated as natural monuments of Japan. Chickens are also a Christmas sensation in Japan. Their traditional Christmas meal is KFC fried chicken, and people reserve KFC restaurant tables months in advance for the 25th of December each year. We can see that chickens were a symbol for Christianity until as late as 7th century. And once they lost their religious significance, they still helped in bringing about big changes in human civilization. This time, scientifically. Charles Darwin, in his work producing the theory of evolution, studied hundreds of chickens and observed how traits change from generation to generation. It was him, who found out that the red jungle fowl is the common ancestor of all chickens. Another study of chickens, by three other scientists introduced the Punnett square which is used to show the resulting genotypes of breeding a certain pair of parents. Ah! What a story that was! Starting as jungle fowls eating bamboo rice, chickens have a boast-worthy history of being royal pets, Roman oracles, sacred birds and scientific test subjects. Little did they know that they will someday have to end up as nuggets in something called a BTS meal. Anyway, at least they get to be the grand prize of every PUBG match. Although, having lost their status now, chickens are still very important to us, as humans are who they are today partially thanks to chickens. I would gladly accept your feedback on this video and suggestions on what my next topics should be. Is the music volume still too much? Or, do you have any interesting topic to make a video about? Please let me know in the comments. Please do subscribe. It means a lot to me. My next video might take some time, maybe. So clicking on the bell icon is strongly recommended so that you will get notified of it. Cluck cluck walk walk.